Here we go. It's go time. 41st annual OHSAA football tournament. You are looking live at Maslin Paul Brown Tiger Stadium as the Division VI state championship set to start at 11 a.m. Newark Catholic against Marion Local. A lot of history in this one, and we're getting set to break it all down over the next half hour. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Hyundai Studio. Dave Chidowski with you. Boy, this is an exciting time, and obviously I can't do it alone, so I bring in my friends, Ryan Cavanaugh, Bill Powers. They are here to get us set. Guys, it is going to be a lot of fun, and Ryan, I start with you. A lot of teams at the beginning of the year wanted to get to this point. Not 192 teams started the playoffs. We're down to 12. Only six will be champions. This is it. Well, 15 long weeks. We're finally here, and the... Mother Nature has shown brightly on us. We're going to have perfect weather. The playbooks will be wide open in half hour. We, we get it kicked off and find out who that first state champ is going to be. Bill, you have led a team to a state championship. What are you, what are these coaches saying to the teams right now? Because we have to remember, these are just high school kids right now. So you never know what's going to happen on the big stage. What's being said in that locker room as these coaches get these kids ready to battle today? Well, two things. Number one, you're telling them that, hey, enjoy the moment because you're not guaranteed to ever get back here. But number two, treat this like, like any other game. You've played football for 14 weeks, go out and play it the exact same way today, and if things go well, you'll enjoy yourself you know, at the end of the game. Well, we're going to enjoy watching six games this weekend right here exclusively on Sports Time Ohio, all in HD. Coach coming up with this game first. Yeah, Mary Local looking to repeat, and Newark Catholic looking to regain the glory of the old years to return to state title contention. 13 state titles between these two teams. But then in the next game, Ryan, neither team's won a state championship. That's right. Clint Massey comes in with a power running attack. St. Clair's will throws it all over. Two contrasting offenses. Which one will bring the first state title home to their team? We might have over 100 points in that game. And then tonight, a lot of stud players in this one, Coach. Yeah, Troutwood Madison looking to keep the crown they won last year. And Toledo Central Catholic trying to get the crown that everybody gave them at the beginning of this year. And what I love is you go to bed and still have three more games, Ryan, starting with D3 tomorrow morning. Bellevue's a Cinderella story. They make their first state championship appearance and they've got St. Vincent, St. Mary. And then Coldwater and Kirtland, it is a rematch, Coach. This will be the game of the weekend, in my opinion. You have two wow. undefeated teams, two, a rematch from last year's game, that will be the game of the weekend. And then how about this? Toledo Whitmer and Cincinnati Muller Ryan in the big D1 championship. Two great power running teams. They put a stamp on the weekend for us. Unbelievable. Muller, obviously, with a ton of history, and Whitmer trying to get it done for the first time. Can't wait for that one. But really, I got to be honest with you, I can't wait for 11 a.m. to hit because that's the start of game number one. And calling the game live in Maslin Paul Brown Tiger Stadium is Michael Ragai and Greg Fry. And you know these guys are amped up to get it going. I know, Michael, you're ready to go. Take it away, my friend. Thank you, Dave Chodowski, gentlemen. Great to see all of you in the studio. Great to see all of you. Michael Regga, Greg Fry. We're excited, as you can imagine, running backs that are absolutely superb on display today. Greg, let's start with uh, the Flyers of Marion Local. Sophomore, J.C. Guttemoller. Greg, uh, over six yards of carry, knows his way to the end zone with 27 TDs. This workload has been real impressive for this kid. Yeah, he's getting almost 20 yards, of 20 uh, carries per game. What impresses me, here's a kid that he made plays last year as a freshman in the state championship game. So he's got a ring. He's come back as a sophomore. He's lighting it up. He's very special. What I'm impressed with is great vision. He has a great knack to get in the end zone. He's a special playmaker. 31 touchdowns. He's got four through the air as well. And oh, by the way, he's pretty good on defense as well with five picks on the defensive side. Keep your eye on the sophomore. He's going to have a football in his hands quite a bit today. All right, let's swing it over to Kevin Bourne. Bourne, two averages five yards a tote, 14 TDs for him. And oh, by the way, Greg, as we'll find out later, he plays a little bit on the defensive side, too. Yeah, defensive player of the year, Division Six, so he makes a lot of plays on defense. He's the quarterback of the defense. But offensively, he's accounted for 21 touchdowns, almost five yards of carry, as you mentioned, 14 touchdowns on the ground. But He's, he's their leading receiver. Seven touchdowns through the air. So they're going to throw the football to him as well. And 
you know, he's one of those guys. He's a playmaker. He's made plays all year long. He's going to have to do that again today to get that ring. J.C. got a molar, gentlemen, uh, for uh, Marion Local and Kevin Board for Newark Catholic running backs. We'll have a big say so in who wins it today. With that, Dave Chodowski, guys, back to you in our Sports Time Ohio studios in downtown Cleveland. Michael, Greg, thank you so much. Can't wait for the call. We'll see how that one goes down today. And there are a lot of state championships in the history of this one. The Green Wave, will they return to old glory? They have a lot of state titles in their history. Only one team in the entire state has more state championships. We're going to break it down offensively, defensively. Look at the history. That's coming up next as we continue on with the pregame show as we look forward to kickoff coming up at 11 o'clock. Championship weekend is brought to you by Wayside Furniture. Better furniture, price lower.